Hello, my name's Pam MacDonald. I'm 68 years old and I live in Offerton Stockport. I am a grandma, I have got two gorgeous children and I have had COPD for uh, at least five years but did not know I had COPD. I smoked, which I know I shouldn't have done, and I put down my cough and my cold and chest infections that I had to smoking. Until one time I had a very, very bad attack and I was in bed and I, I couldn't breathe. I really, really couldn't breathe. And I was taken in, I went to the doctors and they sent me to Stepping Hill and I was on a nebulizer there. Uh, when my GP noticed that my chest and cough was getting increasingly worse, she was getting very, very concerned. So she recommended that I go and see the nurse pr practitioner, Cynthia, at the Rackendale Medical Centre. And they were so good and so supportive that they sent me to Kingsgate. So I merrily go along to Kingsgate and to say I was astounded was pretty mildly. I was asked to walk for two minutes and I realised I couldn't walk for two minutes like they were asking me to do. I thought this is ridiculous, why have I got pains in my legs and I couldn't do various exercises. And then I saw three other nurses all on the same day and they gave me various examinations, talks, help. I was introduced to Dr. Gadzuzo, um, who is the most loveliest person I think I've ever met because he's the only doctor that never told me off for smoking. He didn't think it was a good idea that I smoked. He had a copy of my x-ray um, on his laptop and after examining it realised that yes what was wrong with me was I had COPD. Stage two, stage two and um, he then began asking me questions about my uh, youth. How long had I been like this? Um, and I said thinking about it had been like it the majority of my life. Um, before tissues were invented, my mum used to cut up sheets for rags and I used to have Kayleen poultices put on my chest because I was known to have a bad, a bad chest, in inverted commas, every winter. I had thermogene and I had liberty bodices because I had this bad chest and you can stop laughing, and I had this bad chest. Once I was diagnosed with COPD, I was given the correct medication to help control my asthma and my chest problems. I was also, which was thrilled to bits about, given antibiotics and other medication to help me in the emergency that if I had an asthma attack or my chest was bad, I could self-medicate. That was a bonus. And I was also introduced to the word exercise. And I started with Sue at uh, the six weeks course and felt that it was absolutely wonderful. I could manage, Sue went through it very slowly with us and I could do all the exercises so much so that I now go to Metro Gym in Stockport three times a week and I can do all sorts of things I couldn't do before. I still can't walk up hills or walk up steps very well, but I do have my medication with me and I know that I feel happier and safer. Before I got my medication, the car became my legs. I would not walk anywhere. I'd get in the car to go to the hairdressers, which is at the bottom of the road. I'd get in the car to go into Stockport to do the shopping, which was hard work doing the shopping. I did it, but a lot slower. Um, and I never felt well. I always thought, 
I know what's wrong with you, you're smoking, which of course didn't help, but I did have COPD. So I, I couldn't do the things I now walk into Stockport, which I had never thought of doing before. I can do shopping by myself. Um, I can carry heavy weights. I can do a lot more, a lot freer, a lot more released. Uh, since I have had a proper di diagnose, had proper medication, I have not once been sent to Stepping Hill as an emergency and touch wood, I have not been in bed for a week or fortnight because I can't breathe. Uh, the best part about it is having my standby emergency tablets of antibiotics and steroids because I feel a lot safer, happier to know that I do not have to wait uh, to ring a doctor to get a prescription, that I have my standby prescription um, with me. If we go away for the weekend, if I go on holiday, I take it with me. So I do feel a lot safer having my medication with me at all times. The quality of care that I received both at, the, at uh, Brackendale and at Kingsgate was A1. It was marvellous. Um, they couldn't care more about me. They did so much for me. Um, Every patient counts, Stepping Hill says. Well, every patient counted as far as I was concerned at my doctors and at uh, Kingsgate. They couldn't do enough for you.